Good evening and welcome to ZBZ News. My name is Jerome Weathers. This is my team. And my name is Kutoyeshe Mishai Ende. And I am Mandape Mandape. Thank you for joining us on ZBZ News where we bring you the news hot like fried chicken. Fair like a fair lady. Balanced like a balanced diet. Sexy like a high heels on a brunette. Real as a car crash. Without an ambulance. As truthful as an ex-wife. Who is actually a man. We're going to be reporting now on a very somber and controversial topic that is dividing our very nation. We cross now to our intrepid reporter on the ground, Kevy Kev, Kevin Abrams. Hey, Ons, what's up and what's the story? It's Kevy Kev here bringing you the story on the controversial topic that has recently divided the nation in the just ended constitution making process. The country has been polarized. Chaos and mayhem have become the order of the day. Families torn apart, internal refugees everywhere. The issue Swimming. <laughs> That's a foreign concept. You are you want to drown a nation. Why, 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 why? Myself, I've never liked water. Except for drinking and bathing. Swimming! <laughs> no, th those who want to swim, go and jump in a lake. That's what they're there for. <laughs> Swimming! Uh, eh, eh, eh. Swimming! Ah, uh, come on, man. You're talking about breaststroke. Breaststroke on my daughter. Ingo Zitamagutanga. This is all the water we need. Any more than this, it's hazardous. We use this for washing these things, not what you're talking about. No, man. Butterfly, you're talking about. Have you seen a butterfly in water? It will die. It will drown. Now you're talking about my son is crawling, he's walking, want him swimming and crawling again. No, 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 no. Magdant Kumbura, go, go with your things. I'm busy. Go, go, go. Well, Ons, you've heard it from the mensas and the aunties there, you know. They're just saying that swimming isn't lacquer. So let's not do it. Let's just have Brian, uh, Brian a couple of drops, you know, fix some cars like normal people. You know, I think at the end of the day, the moral of the story is our country does not have a sea for a reason. If you want to go swimming, bugger off to Mozambique. Isn't. I've been KV Kev, your reporter here, live from a bloody cold swimming pool, never to be seen here again for Zambezi News, isn't. And now in local finance, we follow the exploits of a young street-dwelling entrepreneur. Give more. Give more has made five rand on the streets of Harare already. Give more aims at earning at least ten rand before the day is done. You can see his lazy compatriots slipping the day away in the nearby bushes. Give more to feather his prospects is looking for a blind man to accompany him in his exploits. Anyone willing to donate the aforementioned blind man should please send an email to make a dream come true at gmail.com. Give more and the cast and crew at Zambezi News. Thank you. And in international news, we have reports of uprisings and riots against a legitimate head of state. There are riots and explosions happening across the country. We cross now to footage. That was fast and furious. In fact, it was not an explosion from Syria, but from a mine in Jishavane in 1973. Unfortunately, we cannot bring you explosions from Syria due to sanctions, but we're assured that the explosions in Homs at the moment are very similar to those from our archival footage from Jishavane in the 70s. And now we cross over to a very, very important section in our program, Talking Drinking. We have for you today a heartfelt appeal from two members of an organisation known as Anonymous Alcoholics. We'll go to that footage now. Thank you for, 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 
for, for your time. We, as the anonymous alcoholics, we are appealing to well wishers, well, we, well wishers and well doers to donate for the release of, of John So was un, unfortunately apprehended and uh, who wrote this? You are oh. Unfortunately, apprehended and accosted by officers after he failed to navigate the fence on Friday. We need fifty dollars. Uh, uh, seventy-five. Seventy-five. Yeah. 75, yes, 75. we need seventy-five dollars for his release or bare donations of equal monetary value. We also accept empty bottles and cigarettes, stubs not included. Yes. Huh? Yeah. No, no, it's not for his release. It's to see us through while he's in captivity. Yeah, he was a accounts manager, so now, as you can see, we are literally running dry. <laughs> we're, 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 we're definitely in a dark pit of oblivion. John, so if, if you can hear us, brother, please do something about those orders. Just send a officer. Really, why did you run with the man? You were not yeah. even drinking, John, so. Well, no, we could not bear. John, so. Look at my lips. John, so. They look bruised. John, so. so. Never have I got uh, no, too much. I'm it. I'm it.